Hey guys, Dexter here from Dexter's Workshop. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, I've worked a lot on the new project uh, that I'm going to implement in almost all my uh, all my builds. And uh, I'm talking about a way to transport MIDI messages over wireless. And finally, I managed to do that. Um, Right now, I'm I'm using some uh, some wireless uh, modules. Uh, there there are blind wireless modules. You can implement whatever protocol you'd like over them. Uh, they are functioning in 2.4 gigahertz, uh, 16 channels available, if I remember well. Um, the the problem was not the the hardware and software implementation but uh, the concept because I wanted to keep it very simple and I want it to be more like a, like a bridge if you like like a level 2 bridge in, uh, in uh, networking uh, the kind of uh, transmitting protocol that is not interested what you are going to send over it but uh, it will uh, it will ensure that the data will get there in a reliable uh, fashion so uh, I'm going to present you the project also the hardware solution that I choose and uh, I will have you uh, I will show you a, a little demo be right back guys so guys the the hardware solution that I chose it's uh, it's mainly based on uh, 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 80 mega 328p um, I'm having two modules here uh, one it's the transmitting module the other is the uh, the receiving module the the order and the, it was randomly chosen uh, also um, I'm having this kind of wireless modules they are based on uh, northern semi uh, chips I don't know if uh, my camera will focus here. Uh, they're ba uh, they're uh, working in 2.5 uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz. They're excellent, and uh, the the footprint it's it's very small. There is also another version with the SMA antenna and also a, a signal amplifier. Uh, this is this is the low power version because uh, I wanted to to test it. Even even with the low power version, I'm I'm getting around 30 meters or so uh, of uh, reliable uh, uh, package uh, sending. <coughs> Sorry, the uh, the module it's using uh, SPI interface uh, to to communicate with the microcontroller. So we have one here. Uh, on the sending end and uh, one here on the receiving end uh, there is nothing there is nothing fancy here uh, I'm using a MIDI interface a USB to MIDI interface to to send MIDI PC messages from the computer because uh, the the only device the only MIDI device that I have available right now it's uh, my switcher looper and he can uh, he can interpret only uh, program change uh, messages. So I'm using uh, the, the MIDI, the USB MIDI interface uh, that it's connected to the sending uh, to the transmitting um, uh, module to the, to, to the transmitting side uh, through a, a, an optocoupler there and the, the classical uh, uh, way to connect uh, MIDI to to uh, microcontroller using an optocoupler, uh, coupler, uh, two resistors and uh, one diode. Uh, there is the output from the MIDI uh, the USB to MIDI interface to the microcontroller here on the receive uh, uh, on the receiving pin. So I'm having uh, MIDI out uh, receiving on the transmitting side then I'm throwing all the receiving packages on wireless I'm getting there uh, I'm getting them here on the on the receiving end of the uh, of the module of the of the of the side yeah so uh, then 
I'm transmitting the, uh, them to uh, to the uh, switcher. Um, again, the connection between the switcher and the uh, and the uh, micro uh, development board it's made simple. Uh, five volts uh, ground and uh, the the takes uh, transmitting pin on the serial interface. Uh, both. Uh, both of uh, the development board were uh, made to uh, were set up to receive and send data uh, at the 31250 uh, baud rate uh, right here i'm having a 3.3 volts module and a 5 volts module because uh, i have to warn you that uh, those little bits are taking quite a current uh, anyway not so much but uh, uh, much more than a than a, a development board can uh, can supply at, uh, at this point. Uh, there is nothing more to say. Uh, the the both both modules are acting like bridges, so I'm actually uh, sniffing the the uh, serial interface, and when a package is available in buffer, I'm taking it, spit it on the on the wireless. And then receive it here, and then again spit it on the uh, on the serial output. There, there is. I, I'm not looking at what kind of data I'm transmitting right now. I'm transmitting at about uh, one megabytes per second. It's way way too much for this application. I'm going to to go down with the speed of 256 kilobytes per second uh, because it's much more reliable. And uh, uh, the, the the packages will uh, will arrive in a in a more reliable manner. And also, uh, the MIDI protocol it's uh, three one two five zero uh, uh, baud rate. So uh, again, even two five six uh, KBS it's more than enough to uh, to transport MIDI messages and to arrive them in a timely fashion. So what, what I'm going to do, it's place some uh, MIDI program changes here on the timeline. Uh, send them to MIDI interface through USB and then send them back to uh, uh, the switcher and uh, through wireless. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play and I'm going to keep it on the loop. And as you can see here, MIDI activity, okay, and also the switcher, it's switching according to received MIDI messages. Just to ensure you that everything it's, it's going to be according to plan and uh, nothing it's, it's a hoax, if you like. I, it's not uh, in my nature to do that, but just to just to show you, I'm going to pull out the the VCC pin of this module, and I'm going to stop the transmission right now. Okay, so I'm going to pull the plug here, and you will see no activity on the on the switcher. So here we go. That's it. Everything is dead right now. I'm going to put it back in. And I'm going to reset the module because the the SPI protocol it's initialized at booting time or if you like at power on. So I had to reset the the development board to to actually reset the SPI protocol because uh, the the module was uh, left without uh, power and uh, everything went blank for it, so uh, a reinitialization will uh, will have to be done. So this is it. I really enjoy to to work on it. It will be it will be a challenge uh, for days to come to to put it in a in a usable uh, in a usable form, uh, a smaller form. I'm going to to have a a, a small equipment that 
can accept MIDI in, send it on wireless. It will use a re rechargeable lithium, uh, lithium ion or lithium polymer uh, battery packs. Uh, I, I hope that I will be able to, to have it very small in a very small footprint. Uh, and the application of this system are quite endless because you can actually you can implement you can implement it in uh, in editing device from apps to to uh, switching systems to rack systems etc so uh, there there will be no more uh, there will be no more need of uh, you know uh, pulling a MIDI uh, cable back to your rack system just pull in the plug in the, the module uh, plug it in in your uh, MIDI uh, foot switcher, and uh, you are good to go. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to finish this video right now, uh, and uh, I'm going to to ask for your feedback, uh, and I will keep you posted on uh, the uh, progress of the project. Thank you guys for uh, for watching such a such a long video. Uh, this is Dexter from uh, Dexter Workshop and uh, I, I wish you uh, a nice weekend and uh, take care of you all. Bye bye guys.